Hello, movie lovers. I'm Adam. This is Does It Hold Up? And I'm actually being joined by a voice over on this one. It's Emily, who does a couple videos here on the channel as well, joins for movie reviews, because she's going to help me out with the brand new series we're doing here on the channel, where I rework the Oscars, the Academy Awards. I go back in time and I tell you who I think should have won each category, the major categories, at the Academy Awards going all the way back to the year 2000 for movies that came out in 1999. How this is going to work is Emily, that disembodied voice, is going to read you who were the nominees in each one of these seven categories and who won that year before I tell you whether I agree with the Academy or I think they got it horribly wrong, which they have been known to do. And I will correct them right here on the channel. Why is my opinion important? Well, it's really not, but I thought this would be a lot of fun to do because I've seen thousands of movies, thousands upon thousands of movies, and I watch the Academy Awards every single year. I never miss it. And you know what? I just don't always agree, and I know you don't either. So when everything is all said and done, don't forget to go down into the comments and let me know who you think should have won each one of these categories for this year. This is going to be an ongoing series, so every week you're going to get another video just like this one of the next year's Academy Awards. But as of right now, let's go ahead and throw it over to our host of the Does It Hold Up Awards, Emily. Greetings. Leading off, we have actor in a supporting role. The nominees are Tom Cruise, Magnolia, Michael Clark Duncan, The Green Mile, Jude Law, The Talented Mr. Ripley, Haley Joel Osmond for The Sixth Sense, and the winner was Michael Caine, The Cider House Rules. Michael Caine is a wonderful actor who's been in some phenomenal movies and given some great performances. But unfortunately, I don't think The Cider House Rules is one of them. And I think there's a very, very important role that happened this year that people still talk about to this day. So I am actually going to change the award here. I'm giving it to Haley Joel Osmond because he's incredible in The Sixth Sense. That entire movie relies on his performance. Can he actually make you believe that he sees dead people and gets scared by them or, you know, wants to help them out? This performance is astounding. And we still talk about it now, 25 years later. And for that reason, Academy, you got it wrong. Haley Joel Osment. Actress in a supporting role. The nominees were Tony Collette, The Sixth Sense, Catherine Keener, Being John Malkovich, Samantha Morton, Sweet and Lowdown, Chloe Savigny, Boys Don't Cry, and the winner was Angelina Jolie, Girl Interrupted. Oof. <laughs> This is an extremely hard category because Angelina Jolie is phenomenal in Girl Interrupted. She steals that entire movie from every other actor and actress in it. But was she the best of the year? Yes, she was. I actually think the Academy got it right with this award, so we're going to go ahead and leave it with Angelina Jolie for Girl Interrupted. Next, we move on to actor in a leading role. The nominees were Russell Crowe, The Insider, Richard Farnsworth, The Straight Story, Sean Penn, Sweet and Low Town, Denzel Washington, The Hurricane, and the winner was Kevin Spacey, American Beauty. American Beauty, I think personally, is one of the most overhyped movies of all time. We get it. Plastic bag, beautiful metaphor, whatever. And I don't think Kevin Spacey was all that good. And especially because of what we know about Kevin Spacey now, what was happening at the time, might be worth going back and changing this award. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. He has some strong contenders going against him, but let's all be honest here. It's Denzel Washington for the hurricane. It's Denzel. Like, that's all you have to say. Denzel Washington's in a movie. Should he win an award for it? Yeah, probably, because he's always f***ing amazing. So Denzel Washington, the hurricane, is getting this award. Actress in a leading role. Nominees were... Annette Benning, American Beauty, Jeanette McTeer, Tumbleweeds, Julianne Moore, The End of the Affair, and Meryl Streep, Music of the Heart. The winner was Hilary Swank, Boys Don't Cry. So I almost gave the Best Supporting Actress award to Chloe Sevigny for Boys Don't Cry because I think every performance in that movie is incredible. And so therefore, I do think the Academy also got this one right, and I'm going to leave it with Hilary Swank for Boys Don't Cry. 
Writing Adapted. The nominees were Election, The Green Mile, The Insider, and The Talented Mr. Ripley. The winner was The Cider House Rules. Here we go again, Cider House Rules. Uh, it, is that a movie anybody even talks about anymore? That anybody even cares about anymore? I mean, granted, in 1999 when it came out, did anybody really care about the Cider House Rules? Or was it just like, ooh, pretty? And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it was. So I'm going to take the award away from the Cider House Rules yet again. And it's kind of a toss-up here. Should it go to The Talented Mr. Ripley, which is an incredible movie? Or should it go to The Green Mile, which is a heartbreaking movie? It's kind of a toss-up between these two. But when everything's said and done, I think I'm going to have to give it to The Green Mile. Because it showcases some beautiful performances that really bring that script to life. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with The Green Mile. Writing original. The nominees were Being John Malkovich, Magnolia, The Sixth Sense, and Topsy Turvy. The winner was American Beauty. Absolute utter disgrace here to give it to American Beauty against all of these other great films. It's, a, it's okay. It's got some good writing in it. But at the end of the day, there's only one movie that we really walked out of 1999 talking about how it flipped everything on its head and it all began with the script. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to M. Night Shyamalan for The Sixth Sense. Yes, some of the dialogue is stilted. Yes, some of it is kind of cringeworthy. But at the end of the day, that entire story, what he built, changed movies at the time. It created a sense of wonder. It made people go, did you see this yet? If you haven't, you gotta go see it right now because we need to talk about it. And at the end of the day, movies all start with a script. And because of that, let me give it to The Sixth Sense. Moving on to directing, the nominees were Spike Jones for Being John Malkovich, Lassie Hallstrom, The Cider House Rules, Michael Mann, The Insider, M. Night Shyamalan, The Sixth Sense, and the winner was Sam Mendes for American Beauty. Sam Mendes, brilliant creator, but once again, American Beauty, super overhyped, super who gives a shit at the end of the day. Let's be honest here. The movie, like I've said already, just disappeared in the consciousness. It just vanished completely. But you know what movie didn't vanish? The Sixth Sense. Yes, I understand M. Night Shyamalan was a newer director at the time, and we don't tend to give Academy Awards to up-and-comers. Usually it's somebody more established. But I think we gotta buck that trend. And we should have started bucking that trend right here in 2000 for the movies in 1999 because The Sixth Sense is one of the best movies that came out this year. It had everybody on the edge of their seats. It was so masterfully done. You can go back and watch this movie and pick up on little details that maybe you didn't notice before. And it's really worth watching. Yes, you're going to know the twist ending. Everybody does. But it doesn't matter because now you can go back and figure out how you missed all of the clues of what that ending was going to be. This is a masterclass in filmmaking and how to tell a story through visuals alone, pretty much. And the fact that he was so overlooked this year is an embarrassment to the Academy. So we're going to strip that award away from Sam Mendes. We're going to hand it over to M. Night Shyamalan for The Sixth Sense, because that's where it rightfully belongs. And our final award for the evening is Best Picture. The nominees were The Cider House Rules, The Green Mile, The Insider, and The Sixth Sense. The winner, American Beauty. Take everything I just said for the last category and reuse it all because the, the best picture of the year is going to be The Sixth Sense. In fact, it was The Sixth Sense. I can't harp on this enough, but what's a movie that you still think about to this day? What's a movie that makes every single list of best twists, of best this, of best that? It's The Sixth Sense. American Beauty gets talked about now, but it's more in the breath of, oh yeah, Kevin Spacey was in that movie. In fact, he's not even the best part of that movie, and Sam Mendes has made better movies than that, in which he hasn't won awards for. So why did we give this movie best picture? It just doesn't really compute for me. So once again, I'm taking the award away from American Beauty to give to The Sixth Sense because the Academy failed this year. They got a ton of things wrong, and I want to make sure that got corrected. All right, that's it for the very first ever episode of the Does It Hold Up Awards, where we go back in time to rework the Oscars and correct the mistakes that they made. 
Again, let me know in the comments below if you agree with how I gave out these awards or who would you give the awards to if you were reworking the Oscars. We'll be back every single week with another episode of the Does It Hold Up Awards as a brand new series here on the channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff so that you'll never miss a single video that we put out, especially on Tuesdays when we talk about the box office because that's always a good time. Until I see you next time, just remember to be good to yourself, be kind to others, and keep watching movies.